find this. Yeah. <laughs> or just flippant off the cuff uh, text. But you see, the thing is, once once Mairead gets a sniff of an opportunity to do Matchmaker, <laughs> that's it. The whole show has to be dedicated towards it. He has a good track record, though. This is true. Well, this one seems to be fairly challenging. Tell us about the Saturday night. Where were you? What what, what did you see? Uh, oh, the details are so sketchy, but we I was in uh, Solace with a couple of friends. Everybody in fancy dress. We went in around 10 o'clock for a couple of drinks. And this is terrible, because I wasn't even told that you. It just caught my eye, you know, across a crowded bar. And uh, this guy was dressed as Harry Potter. Um, kind of reluctant or redundant to describe him, because he looked like Harry Potter. But kind of, you know, tall, maybe five nine by ten dark hair hope those aren't his real glasses um <laughs> <laughs> so we, we just were in solace for about maybe two hours headed on to wheeland and he was in there again so just caught my eye and after a little while i figured you know i'm gonna walk around check out the costumes check out the talents but i uh, ended up chatting to some friends and stuff and before you know it it's time to go home so uh red give us a sense you're in in what give us an age bracket for you uh we'll say 25 to 30. okay you're 25 to 30 and you were dressed as little red riding hood Yes. What was that outfit like? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a Actually, big long red cape. Actually, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> Describe what you were wearing. It's what a little red riding hood looks like. Long red cape, little picnic baskets, uh, short skirts. And you're absolutely sure this guy was in fancy dress, because it might just be that he was out that night and he actually just looks like Harry Potter. Uh, well, if he's that square, we'll pass. No, it was it was quite authentic. But I think it was a like an internet costume, which is kind of cheating. You should make your costume, but I would get over that. Okay, so the task, the challenge you've given us is to find someone who's between about five nine, five ten ish, um, good looking, was dressed as Harry Potter, and was in Solace, and then in Wheelands, is that right? On Saturday yeah. night. Yep. It's quite the well, challenge. I think Mary's done well with even less information. So, you know, if she finds them cool, if she doesn't, not to worry. Well, stay with us for a second, uh, Red. Aaron, are you there? Yeah. Well, what did you dress up as for Halloween, Aaron? Uh, Harry Potter. Did you, what oh. height are you, out of curiosity? Um, about 5'11". 5'11", right. And, and, and where did you go when you were dressed up as Harry Potter? Um, we started off, we went to, to Sela and then across the road to Phyllis for... Uh, one or two drinks, and then into the village. I see. Right, so you're in full of stress. <laughs> Red, Aaron, Aaron, Red. Hi. Hi <laughs> oh, that's unexpected. She thinks you're cute. She thinks you're cute. <laughs> did you notice the little Red Riding Hood, or did the little mean that you couldn't see her in the crowd? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I saw Red Riding Hood over the night, but I, I don't know whether I saw Red herself. Well, I tell you what, Red, it's a good sign that he's texting into the program if he saw Red Riding Hood and wanted to get in touch. I guess. Aaron, give us an age bracket for yourself. Um, freshly turned 28. Freshly turned 28 in the same age bracket? Oh, yeah. Critical question, Aaron. Are you single? Yes. Uh, let me go back to where all this started, because if I'm right, Red, the last line of the text said, if he's unattached, ask him to join me for a picnic in the woods. Well. <laughs> Aaron, picnic, huh? Huh? With it? Picnic, yeah, I'm looking for some sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with the flash to hang sandwiches. <laughs> Red, Aaron, what we will do is, I, I'm told by Murray that the best thing to do is rather than putting you in a position where you're forced to swap phone numbers, this should be about email addresses. Yeah, sure. So off okay. air, off air wheels that, or Siobhan will do that. So, and then... And then we're going to make it And you know that if the relationship works or fails or... I mean, let's, let's cut to the chase. If there's a wedding, we have to be invited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> we'll try a picnic to start with. <laughs> Red, Aaron, listen, guys, thank you very much for coming on the show. Bye, Bye thanks thanks million, guys. If you want to get in touch, it's 083 102 And Mairead, the doctor of love, Farrell, will look after you. Thank <laughs> you.